Welcome to Core Program. In this video, we discuss about how to use Font Awesome icon in WPF. Before we go to the WPF application, let's discuss what is Font Awesome icon and what the benefits of it. Font Awesome gives us scalable vector icons that can be instantly be customized in terms of size, color, drop, shadow, etc. The benefits of the Font Awesome icon is a single collection of fonts with different type of icons. Also, though no JavaScript is required, that means no compatibility concern about the font of some icon. Also, we have full control of the CSS. That means size, color, icon, we can change it accordingly. Also, the infinite scalability is there. That means every icon looks good at any size. And also, performance on the Retina display also, it is good. As you see in the font of some website, there are several icons are there where we, we can use in our website, in our application. Let's create a WPF application in Visual Studio and see how the font or some icon will use there. We are using Visual Studio 2019. So that's the wizard of that Visual Studio 2019. Click create new project. Choose WPF as application. Here you can see there is several types of uh, templates are available to create the application. Uh, for now, we have created WPFF in .NET Framework, so just click that and click next. Then choose your path forever you want to save your project. Then choose the name WPF Fontasm. Right? Then create. Now our application has been created. Just click on the vertical split. It will be better visible for the design and also the XML part. Right? First of all, we need to add the font or some icon through NuGet package. So right click on that. Go to the manage NuGet packages. And in the browse tab, search as font or some dot WPF. You can see the search result is here. Just click that and click the install. Click OK. The font of some WPF has now successfully installed in our application. You can navigate the reference. You can see the font of some WPF is added here. Then the next step is add the reference of the font of some icon in app.xml. We need to add that font family here. After adding the font family, save the app.xml then go to the main window.xml and here we add the font of some icon to use the font of some in main window.xml we need to add the namespace in the xml like below that means the font of some wpf is registered on that wpf awesome in main window xml then the next step is to add the font of some icon in the application we added a stack panel here and under the stack panel, we added the font awesome icon here. Pa. Then image awesome. Then icon equal to. You can see there are several icons are present in the font awesome WPF. Accordingly, you can use that. For now, we have used as GitHub. Then we set the width. and hide accordingly accordingly we use two or three more font here suppose this is google this is auto like this and also we make that color also suppose we make foreground as red and here we set foreground is equal to suppose blue right as you can see the icon are amazing and uh, lightweight as well also you can use the loader or spinner you can say in ponder some wpf so just copy the stack panel here we make another row here and in that inside inside that I add a fa then image awesome. Sorry. 
then I can make icon equal to spinner you can see the spinner will become then I can make the property spin equal to true you can see the spin is working now then after that I make the duration of the spin spin duration suppose I make as 10 you can see the duration will be less here then I just set the width here width is I make suppose 80 and height also 80 right so I just use margin as 150 suppose we make the spin duration speed increase then the rotation speed of that icon will be very slow suppose you make as 100 you can see that is very slow if you make as just 2 you can see the spinner icon is running smoothly right so that's the property of that spinner suppose we added another spinner here a several icon we can add here suppose uh, i make as here as uh, twitter sorry twitter here i made as instagram and uh, i said as foreground is deep sky blue as twitter color and uh, here i make as foreground color is pink and uh, when you make the spin as false when we make the spin as false you can see the instagram icon spinner will be deactivated right when you make as true it rotate again also if you want the above icon to rotate so just set as spin equal to true so for now i just remove that here you can see the namespace declaration is here and we set name as pa accordingly this will be called here suppose we make as fa1 right and just copy that and paste here like this paste here like this paste here paste here look this was also working so according to your choice you can give that name and use accordingly so all the changes has been done so run our application so clicking the start button you can see the wpf window is here and all the icon was working amazingly suppose we make a window was small or larger than the impact of icon or nothing they work smoothly we hope it clear about how to use the font of some icon in wpf if you have any doubt or concern give your feedback the source code is available on the github you can download and check that the link are available in the description box also for more details please go through the core program website the link is also available do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos thanks for watching